Hello everybody, Mitch and Mr. Hockey here, and today we're going to talk about the Washington Capitals trading Matt Niskanen to the Philadelphia Flyers in exchange for Radko Gudis. Now this is an interesting trade, one for one, no prospects, no cap, no picks, just straight up defensemen. Um, this is a really interesting trade because the players are so similar. And here are their statistics. We'll start with Matt Niskanen. Matt Niskanen um, won a cup with the Capitals in 2018. He was drafted 28th overall in 2005 by the Dallas Stars. He, he's a right-handed shot hit. Salary is $5.75 million. That's his cap hit. Um, he's six feet tall. He weighs 204 pounds. His contract expires in 2021. He will be a, an, a UFA, an unrestricted free agent. He signed his current contract in 2014 with the Washington Capitals. His 2018 stats, 8 goals, 17 assists for, for 25 points in 80 games. Uh, a minus 3 and plus minus 21 minutes and 56 seconds time on ice. 41 penalty minutes on 143 shots. His career stats are in 881 games, 64 goals, 259 assists, for 323 points, and plus 97 plus minus. So he's taking that. He's gone up 100. Uh, 460 penalty minutes, 1,428 1, shots, and an average of 20 minutes and 50 seconds of ice time. All right, Radko Gudis. His salary is $1.75 million, but his cap hit is $2.345 million. Um, Radko Gudis gets suspended a lot, um, which will which will determine factor at the end of the video of who wins the trade. Let's let's start, go with Gudis. Um, he had drafted 66 overall by Tampa Bay in 2010. He was traded to the Philadelphia Flyers at the 2015 deadline for Braden Colborn. There were other assets involved. So now he's on the Flyers, and then now he's traded to the Caps. He is 29 years old. He's a right-handed shot. I mean, look, look how, listen to how some of these guys are. He's, he, his salary is $2.5 million. Um, he's six feet. He weighs 203 pounds. His contract expires in 2020. He'll be uh, an unrestricted free agent. Um, he signed with his, signed his current contract with the Flyers in 2014. His 2018-19 stats: it's 77 games, four goals, uh, 16 assists for 20 points, uh, a minus six plus minus 1753 time on ice. Uh, 63 penalty minutes and 136 shots. Um, and in, in his career, he's played in 416 games, 24 goals, 81 assists for 105 points. Um, uh, he's a, he's up an 11 and plus minus. He has 579 penalty minutes, 749 shots, and he averages an ice height of 18 minutes and 26 seconds. Now, as you can see, this these players are really similar. Um, they're both right-handed. Um, they're both six feet. Uh, the um, Niskanen outweighs Gudis by one pound. Um, they're both stay-at-home defensemen who can, who can, can, who rarely contribute on the offensive end. Although Niskanen is significantly better. Um, and and that that will also determine who wins the trade. Um, Radko Gudis is more of a physicality guy, um, but and he has uh, he he has a lot of suspensions. I'll say that. And the Capitals will need to make sure he doesn't get out of control because they remember they all they have already they already have Tommy Wilson. And you know he can get into some trouble, so they have to gonna have to make sure that he doesn't that they, he can play discipline game. We're gonna look at the flyer side of the deal. Why they're gonna do this deal? Um, so 
right now, um, this is after the trade, they have $14,967,000 in salary cap space. They've still got a boatload of salary cap space. Um, um, they are hoping that with Matt Niskanen plus whoever they may be planning to add with the cap space, plus a full year of Carter Hart, plus a full year with no crazy injuries will push them over the line and get them into the playoffs and hopefully get them far as hard developed. They're still going to have, um, they're still going to have a good team. Um, Matt Niskanen isn't, isn't going to fade away immediately because he's 32. Uh, like some defensemen do. He's still going to be a, cor- a good piece, a solid piece on your team for the next couple years. Um, so they are trying to get into the playoffs, and once they get into the playoffs, it will be a whole other story, and they will deal with that then. But right now, it's about getting a lineup to just, you can push over the edge and into the playoffs. For the Capitals, they have a very, very, very different reason for making this deal. Um, as it, they have four point two million dollars in cap space left. Um, the reason is, in one year, Braden Holpe will be an unrestricted free agent. In two years, and uh, Nicholas Backstrom and Alex Ovechkin will be unrestricted free agents. Now, the question is, if you have to pick, well, obviously you want to resign Braden Holpe, and his contract. He could be affected because because of the contract of that the Florida Panthers gave out to Sergei Bobrovsky, and that the Capitals will have to pay him more money. So the Capitals are trying to get people off their books, like salaries off their books that they maybe can replace, such as going one for one, a one for one trade to get Radko Gudic. I'm not I'm not saying he's bad when he's on the ice. He's good on the ice, as his numbers clearly show. I'll just go with his plus minus. He's getting, he's not bad. Plus, he, he's got a, he has a six for plus minus. So when he's on the ice, he's good. Well, the, forget the suspensions for now. Um, But, I mean, between Baxter and Ovechkin, I think you got, you have to keep Ovechkin. He's the face of the franchise. He is why they won a cup. If they didn't have him, they would never have won a cup. Although, okay, yes, maybe they would have because it would have gotten a draft pick. But you, you get the point. And they, you, Braden Hope, he's going to have a boatload of money. Nicholas Baxter, we're going to have to pay him too. Ovechkin, obviously, you're going to have to pay him. And the Capitals, I feel this is like, what are you doing? Win your cup now. Win your cup now. I mean, you have the, the Capitals only saved from this deal two 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 point three four five million dollars of cap space. That's all they saved. They they it's not like they saved oh they saved six million dollars of cap space. Um, they did they, they didn't save that much money, and it's and it's impossible to get the, like this. If they went all in to win a cup and oh shoot, we didn't win a cup. We didn't win another cup and oh my goodness. Um and oh my goodness, everyone's going to leave. Well fine. You won a cup. You went for it, but it wasn't your year. It's not the end of the world. But what is the end of the world is letting is getting mate is worsening your team and then letting Hopi potentially and Baxter and Ovech can just walk off and you get nothing. Um and you 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 just traded a leader, somebody the fans love. There are a lot of Niskin in jerseys, fans love him. You're trading guy that fans love for this guy who just who's on the flies and the most important part is you just traded him to you just traded him to the Metropolitan Division. It's in the same division. That means if this 
trade if the Flyers get into the playoffs and they play you, you're going up against your old friends. And I think it was it's a bad idea to trade to your own your team division unless it's absolutely necessary. And um, you can see where I'm going with this. And yes, you you will not be surprised when I say now. Yes, the Flyers win this trade. They're getting a better player for probably the same amount of time that they're going to play for each team. Um, the Capitals accomplished almost nothing. It's not like they got a huge jump in signing Hopi. They've only got $4.2 million. It's not like they got a huge jump. And then they still have, even if they do sign Hopi, they, they still have backs from an Ovechkin. It would be better for the Capitals to use, um, use their salary cap and win the cup than to try and do this, I think. So, Flyers win the trade. Good deal for them. Good deal. Um, and it's going to be exciting to see Madness going to on the Flyers next year. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below who you think wins this trade. Remember, keep all these factors in mind. Um, tell your friends about the YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next one.